good evening everybody and welcome here to Armory Digital Super Speedway. This is Championship Race Weekend here in Season 8 of the NSCRA as we're getting ready here for the Last of Us Light Series Last Race. Ten laps of racing on tap here tonight. But this is the one series out of the four where we already know who the champion is going to be. Coming in with a 59 point advantage, the minimum or the maximum you can be to still be in the hunt for the championship is 46. So he's definitely exceeded that. Is Ty Dent. He will be the season uh, one Last of Us Light Series champion. And he has done it in quite dominating fashion, especially in the last four to five weeks. Had a great run at Talladega. Even last week's winner, Samuel Light, moved up to second in points, but is still only 59 points out and is not going to be able to take the championship away from his fellow Dodge driver. But this is the final race of the season. We're going to get the command really quickly here, and they'll continue. Drivers, start your engines! And there are a lot of drivers in this field that have not yet been to victory lane this season, and they'd love to be able to win here tonight at Armory Digital Super Speedway. One of them being the guy starting on the pole position, Austin Weiner, who has actually had some really good finishes in the last couple of weeks. He's moved himself up now to 29th in the point standings. And he'd love to be able to go to victory lane if he could. He'll line up alongside of Stephanie Naylor in the 18, who made her debut back at Lime Rock in the uh, replacing of Skyla Johnson. So regardless of what happens here tonight, it doesn't matter if he finishes dead last, doesn't matter if he wins. Anything that happens to the 19 will not count against him in winning the championship as it looks like he'll be rolling off somewhere from mid-pack. I'd say probably around the 20th position is where that 19 car is going to start. You'll find out on the top of your screen as I don't know why the driving line is on. I apologize for that, actually. Pause! <laughs> I apologize for that, guys. I was online racing last night and I forgot to turn the driving line off, so I'm sorry about that. Not exactly very professional of me, but, uh, you know, it happens. As Ty Dent is going to win this championship, but the question is who's going to win the last race of the season. And it could be the last race of the last season because uh, the Last of Us Light series, I've had some uh, people asking me if this series is going to be coming back uh, when Oreo Mobile and Snickers go to season 9. The likelihood of that is no because this was basically a series that was put together for the drivers that ended up either missing out on the signups for uh, you know, Oreo, Mobile, or Snickers Cup, so that way everybody had a chance of getting into a ride. But since we're doing Divisions and Snickers next season, and there were 126 rides that were available, pretty much everybody's going to be able to get into that, and a number of the drivers in this series have been able to get over into a Snickers Cup series ride for Season 9. So the likelihood of this series returning is pretty much slim to none, and so these drivers want to be able to win in what could potentially be the final Last of Us Light series race ever on the Industry Sports Channel as the green flag is out, 10 laps of racing, already they're three wide behind as Austin Weiner will take the lead, Harrison Ponder looking for second underneath of Naylor and Jason Trost who jumped up to the high side, oh, that's, sorry that's Ryan Rezzo in the 22 that jumped up to the high side. Still having a little bit of difficulty remembering these new drivers that are coming in as here comes Harrison Ponder down to the bottom. Ponder's finishes in the last couple of weeks have actually really fallen off. He was really up there inside the top 10 for a good portion of this season. Now he's fallen down to uh, 16th in points. He'd love to be able to pick up his first win of the season. This is also going to be a big uh, test for the Oreo Mobile and Stickers Cup Series drivers. They'll be definitely watching this race because this is going to give them a little bit of an idea of what they can expect from Armory during the, the coming races with championships on the line in those events. Looks like right now it's, it's able to hold three wide pretty doggone well. As the top two have broken out to a two-car tandem. Harrison Ponder in the 13, Zach Rogers in the 66. One car was way down there on the bottom. I think that was the 25 of Vedaravu. There he is, making it four wide underneath of um, the two of Henrietta Fitzwater. I think the double zero of Benjamin Miles is in that. Right behind Bedarabu, following him up that inside line is actually the champion, we can call him that now, Ty Dent. He was basically given the title of champion after the checker flag waved last week at Talladega. Oh, battle off for the lead. Zach Rogers has gotten to the inside 
Well, he had gotten to the inside of Harrison Ponder, but Stephanie Naylor stuck behind the 13, and actually the outside line got the run and held the spot. So there's something we're possibly going to see in the Trucks Mobile and Snickers Cup Series races where a high line can actually work. And now Stephanie Naylor going to jump down to the bottom, and now she needs the drafting help. Is it going to come, though, as... Coming up the inside line there is the 44 of Zeke Marley with the 88 of Lisa Gonzalez. And it looks like Naylor will get the inside line to work this time. Got the uh, drafting help, I think, right there from the 88. And now Stephanie Naylor is the new leader of this race. Ty Den was caught in a precarious position there for a moment. Got caught in the middle in a four-wide situation, but they can actually hold four-wide here. It's not too difficult. It's a pretty spacious restrictor plate track which is why we're pretty certain it's going to be some great racing with those three championships on the line. Boy, Ryan Rezzo determined to make the extreme high line work. That's the second time I've seen him jump up there and have his two right side tires to the right of that blue line on the high banking of these turns. Lisa Gonzalez coming to the inside now, drafting help from Dishwasher. And here comes Ty Dent's teammate, James Shelley, in the nine. And here comes Samuel Light, the only other two-time winner of the season besides Ty Dent. Picked up his second win of the season last week at Talladega. Can he become the only three-time winner in the Last of a Slight series here tonight? And these laps taken away awfully quickly. We're now on to lap five. Next time around, we'll have reached the halfway point in this race. It's been clean and green, but they've been racing hard all the way through this field. Now a couple more players starting to come up here to the front, including James Tyler in the 20, fifth in the point standings. He's got an opportunity here tonight to uh, be able to leave with second in points, although Samuel Light's just ahead of him, and he is the second place driver in points. So Tyler, though, trying to finish out the season, top five in the standings. Alex Tanker's right behind him, 14th in points. He's been having a pretty good season, and... Then right behind him is the 48 of Zachary Chambers, 12th in points. So a number of drivers have had good runs this season, but haven't yet been able to get themselves to victory lane, have an opportunity here. As Dishwasher is out in front now in the 24 after taking that ride over from the non-commenting Crystal Reed. Dishwasher, of course, the uh, German relation to Chris Washer, who just recently went to victory lane at Thornton in Snickers Cup Series competition. Now look who's right behind him. That 12 of Samuel Light. Light won last week at Talladega. That was a restrictor plate track. So he'd love to be able to win in back-to-back -back weeks. Ty Dent may take the championship, but he may not take the uh, share the honors of having the most wins this season with Samuel Light. Samuel Light may bypass him with the third win of the season. Steven Gonzalez in the 55, starting to work his way up there behind Alex Tanker. Right behind him, another driver with another win this season at a restricted plate track. That was the first Talladega race, and Joey Van Hoot is working his way up to the inside here in the U.S. Army Chevrolet. Samuel Light has now reeled in Dishwasher, but now he needs a drafting partner to be able to go with him if and when he makes the move on the DuPont Chevrolet. Here comes Alex Tanker, though. He got a huge run as he and Steven Gonzalez have been working together there. And now here comes Tanker to the bottom. Gonzalez, though, did not want to go with him. Look at Tanker, all by his lonesome. Man, he must have gotten a real good run into that corner because he not only got by Samuel Light, but now he's going to go for the lead off of Dishwasher. Washer going to be able to block him, though. And now Steven Gonzalez going to go for the second position three wide. going to clear Tanker, perhaps. Here comes Corey Williams all of a sudden up here in the 29. Can Corey Williams get to victory lane here before the season ends? And now new second place driver is the 55 of Steven Gonzalez. Now that 55 has been to victory lane this season. It came, went to victory lane back at, uh, uh, where was it? Le Mans. I was going to say Severine, but that would have been wrong. Was that Le Mans with Richard Johnson? And now Steven Gonzalez going to go to the inside and go to the lead. Picked up the draft off the 29 of Corey Williams, and now the Napa Toyota out in front. It'd be the second time this season the 55 is going to victory lane. First time, though, for Steven Gonzalez. And here comes Harrison Ponder back to the inside line. Ponder, who was out in front, up there at the front quite a bit earlier on. Now here he comes. And talk about a bookend season. 
There's Stuart Grattan in the six. Now he won the very first race of the season back at the Battle of the Beach at Daytona back straightaway. What if he could cap off the end of the season with a victory? Win the first and the last races of the season. Here comes Matt Corklin up the inside line too in the eight. Our winner from Thornton, which was in only his second start in the last of a slight series competition. Here comes Lisa Gonzalez though. Huge run to the inside as Tanker got really wide through that corner. Can Gonzalez come down and block Lisa Gonzalez? Two drivers, same last name, but spelled differently. White flag in the air, one more lap to go. Can Stevie Pie hang on? If they're going to make a move, they're going to have to make it pretty soon here. Lisa Gonzalez does have Henrietta Fitzwater right behind her. Those two could maybe work together as Gonzalez continues to lead. Can Steven Gonzalez put the 55 in victory lane for the second time this season and for the first time in his Last of Us Late Series career? It would be only Steven Gonzalez's fourth start in Last of Us Late Series competition. And it looks like he's going to be able to hang on. Lisa Gonzalez has not been able to mount a charge. Steven Gonzalez making the move, hanging on tough, and he's going to come to the line. Steven Gonzalez wins the season finale here at Armory Digital Super Speedway. What a great run there for that 55 team. Second time to go to victory lanes with their second driver. And Ty Dent... He finishes out tonight's race at Armory in the 29th position. And there's a look at your official now, Last of Us Late Series champion, the number 19 Dodge UAW Dodge Charger out of Everham Motorsports. Ty Dent has clinched the championship here in the first and possibly only season of the Last of Us Late Series. Whoa, what's going on up here? Oh, man. <laughs> Ian Buttersworth just hit Stephanie Naylor. We got trouble in River City. Well, he's just about to pull into Pit Road there, but there's your winner of the race, the 55 of Steven Gonzalez. The 19 of Ty Dent is your champion. And what a great season this was. Even though this was a uh, series that was put together just so that way everybody was able to get a ride there back in Season 8, still ended up bringing about some really, really good racing and some unbelievable finishes. And congratulations to Ty Dent on his championship here in the Last of Us Light series. Hope you guys enjoyed this race and this season. If you did, be sure to give this video a like, subscribe to be part of the crew today. Here comes your official finish results from tonight's event, your overall point standings for the season, and we will see you guys as we continue on Championship Race Weekend here with Oreo Mobile and Snickers Cup Series action. Also, be sure to follow the NSC on social media, Facebook and Twitter links are in the description. There's your champ Ty Dent going by. As you've been watching a production of the NSCRA, offline racing at its best. He still keeps a distance between himself and second place McCurry, but all that ground he gained, he just lost right there, but what a save!